We gotta find the skinny dippers and teach them not to cut down power lines that important men like myself require for doing our job. Uh, problem. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? Yeah, I, I do. So. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. All right. What did she say to go to? Thunder Canyon, Jonesy Lake. Oh, Five Mile Creek. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't. But I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! So there was a f fire here very recently. Well, no, there wasn't a fire here very recently because this is all green. Let me see if I can ask her about the burn tree. Nope. Hey. Yeah. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yep, she isn't. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. Now, some lovely music. Uh, do I go down Thunder Canyon to Jonesy Lake and then south, or do I try to... Oh. Oh, I do have a choice. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do the fun thing. Explore some new area. How am I doing? Whoops. Straight south would bring me to Lake Trail and Cache 306. So how do I get to there? You know what? I bet there's a map at 306 that'll show me the way.
so so far my suspicious parties in this mystery that I don't know what the mystery is yet are the girls who I caught skinny dipping out at the lake that decided to get revenge on me for stealing their fireworks by cutting my power line. And the mystery dude with the flashlight who hung out up at my tower who is the one responsible for wrecking my shit and throwing my typewriter out the window. I also have Delilah who was on the on the radio with me um, who I mean just because I'm being a sp suspicious person Jonesy Lake oh here's the cash all right just because I am being suspicious because of the nature of the game I feel like probably has something going on that I should know about but don't oh this is the cash from Okay, copy information. I didn't do this first. All right. I'm learning about copying information from supply caches. This is the first one I found. There was one other one. The medicine wheel is down there. I don't know what that is. Where was the other cache? Was it 302? No. I'm sure there was one other cache that I... Oh, it might have been 303. That's the second one I found. Yeah, okay, 303. So I'll go there eventually. But for now, I have to find the trail that leads me to Jonesy Lake. Which I think might have been this way. She's got Alzheimer's, like, um, dementia. Oh, how old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Okay, here's the rope hook that I fell from, right? This is the one... But apparently, because I have all of the uh, rope that I'll ever need... I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday? You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. At least the column of smoke is still thin. I'm heading to... Oh yeah, that second repelling spot. Okay. Probably head down to cache 309 and grab more map. All right. All right. From here, I have to go south. Oh, okay, straight south. Got it.
good thing I'm not like burning daylight. Like if it suddenly became nighttime, I think this game would be harder. There's my supply cache. I wonder if it makes a difference that all of these have like these random numbers in the locks. Like I feel like it probably doesn't make a difference. You just grab the lock and you do that with it. All right, let's get the map info. Mitch Michaels, 31. Short brown, distinctive facial hair. Mitch Michaels last seen around Josie Lake in 81. That was four years ago, I think. He was first reported missing on July 29th by Forest Service personnel. He's not known to be familiar with the area. Seen around Josie Lake the morning of July 3rd in 81. He rides a Ford F-250. If you have seen him, contact... Okay. I'm going to hang on to this. Because I get the feeling that I'm going to run into him or... All these pine cones. <laughs> Alright, we're going to close this. And I got to go to the fire plume. Down across Five Mile Creek and up. Alright, cool. Well, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Yep. So, like, when there's stuff going on and I gotta learn stuff or whatever, the, uh, music kicks off. But if I'm just running through the woods, it plays like this nice guitar music. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Okay. Whoa, what are we? Whoa, whoa, what are you? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Is this where the smoke was? Looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Can I take your beer? Uh, I guess not. Are they cuddled up inside the tent? Well, the tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Bears. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking.
What the fuck is this? Uh, hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're gonna find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably just mental fucking axe murderer and you're so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Okay. Well, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Apparently, they've called the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? Borat 3000 says great game. I'm starting to really think so. I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. So, oh, I wanted to investigate the torn clothes, because I think you can report that. So here's what I'm thinking. I went down to the lake and saw the girls. The next thing I know, there's that guy ransacking my shit, and then we found the downed power, li power line. And there were the panties there that basically, you know, told me to get fucked and there was all the beer. So it, like, really seemed like it was the girls getting back at me. Okay, so they probably went down there, did all that, and then came back and found the place destroyed, probably by the, the guy with the flashlight. But it could have been that the guy with the flashlight destroyed the power line and planted the panties? Yeah. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Yep, that's accurate. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. <laughs> and if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get sassy with her. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh really? You bet. How cosmopolitan! I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Uh, okay, I got my board. Yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. Disappointment. Uh, I have a thick beard. My nose has been broken. You'll enjoy my thin mustache and long scar. I know it's not easy. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. Ever since I was a baby. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of I here. I have two I'm of them. I'm calling you. I need to know. You're what? It's don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. It's very similar to what my dementia ridden wife used to do, which is a little creepy. Tired. Give me the tired eyes. Tired, I think. Oh yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just you think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think of next? 
Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm going to hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Oh, okay. So I can just go explore if I... All right, now I'll okay. play the game. Now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Day nine. <laughs> In day nine yellow, I notice. Oh, I got a sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having yep. a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women. Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe... Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. Alright, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. She's not up for talking to cops. So suspicious of this woman. Whoa, we're just gonna skip forward by a week. Alrighty. I'm not, like, out in the woods looking for these chicks? Like, what? Am I literally just supposed to keep an eye on fire and make sure that, like, power lines don't get cut? And what happened to that dude Henry. with the flashlight? Yeah. Henry, wake up. Yeah. Yep. I'm awake. Uh, uh. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Yep. There I am. I'm going to radio. What do you want? Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Whoa. We're skipping forward in time, like, in crazy amounts. And I just happened to have, like, a three second conversation with my wife, who I haven't seen in weeks. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She 
she'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Well, I'm sure there's plenty of space to grow marijuana out here. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. We all fuck up. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Ugh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walsh was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and... said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Whoa, a month? I wanted to go down to that supply box to um, the one on the river that I missed. Maybe I'll do that before I do whatever's next in the mission thing. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. I've had one too many bad experiences with tequila. I'm a little reticent to try it again. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. So what's suspicious about the fire? Why don't I have a telescope in this damn thing? Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. Why do you 
you say that. Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Oh, at these radios. We could, um, you know. What? What could we do? Well, I'm flirting with this woman, and the whole forest is burning down. So what happened with the guy with the flashlight? What happened with the two chicks? Where, what's going on? You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So can I put this away? All right. I gotta go to Jonesy Lake and I'm where? Oh, shit. Okay. So there's a trail to the north. Okay. I thought I was way up. Okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. Oh, right. Okay, this open area is the, uh... There's that old campfire where the naked girls were hanging out. Thought that were tracks. Why is there a clipboard out here? What the, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. You're worried? I'm the one that's out here. Got a radio here. What the fuck? I've been attacked! I've been attacked, man! What happened, Henry? I, I just I 
got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? Yes. On it. I don't know. It's gone, along with the radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. Yeah, north. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, Dee? I don't know, Henry. This sounds... crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Ron, <clears throat> Ron, got some bad news back home. Hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say budgets being what they are? Did you get my note about what what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, I know, but I guess I overdid it. Would have been there. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Profesionales is Italian. While things are quiet, I'm going to do another quick one. Of the, whoa, this has been a long segment. I'm going to do another quick one of these. <laughs> 